super hot. Oh man. Oh, hope I don't drop my phone. Oh. Hot Tub Chronicles EP 2 Episode 2, baby Post-workout This is becoming a habit Enjoyable habit Chopping it up with y'all, man Oh, man, so for today's episode Let's talk All my basketball heads we're going to talk NBA playoffs. I'm going with the Lakers. They got a tough first round with Portland. I'm guessing that it's going to go six or seven games. I think the Lakers may lose the first game. I'm calling it right now. Lakers may lose that first game. But after the second game, it's going to be LeBron heavy. LeBron's going to figure out the defense and he's going to make changes. First game, they may come out and lose the first game. Don't panic. Laker Nation, do not panic. It's the best of seven games. It's a seven-game series. So we got plenty of games to get it together. But for right now, throughout the first eight games, I have not been liking what I've been seeing from the Lakers. They have been playing just lazy basketball, you know, that, that they can play a lot better. Danny Green has not been making no shots. Uh, Caruso, uh, he, he's been getting more minutes, but he has not been making his shots. Um, it's just been a plethora of people not making shots, man. So the Lakers is going to have trouble with the Blazers with their guards. I already know. Damian. And uh, CJ, they may be going for 30 a piece per night, but I think vice versa, Anthony Davis is going to have his way in the paint. And LeBron is going to have to play playoff LeBron level basketball, baby. And if that happens, then the Blazers won't have an answer for LeBron at all. Even at age 35, I feel like LeBron's still going to be dropping triple doubles and just maintaining the control of the game. That's what LeBron does, especially at this uh, stage in his career. He maintains the tempo and the pace. That's what LeBron's gonna have to do, maintain that tempo, maintain that pace, and Lakers should be okay. If it's uh, getting back in tra uh, transition, and the Blazers, is, and they, uh, Dame, and CJ, and Melo, and all them boys pulling up from uh, 30, and the Lakers not getting back on defense, it's going to be a long night. It's going to be a long night. If that happens, then yeah, it's going seven. If LeBron keeps the tempo, it's going to go six. It's going to go six. But uh, I'm rooting for the Lakers, baby. Laker Nation, purple and gold. And on the East, you know I'm rooting for the home team, Milwaukee. Giannis is going to have to step it up. It's already noted that he's a little bit suspect when it comes to the playoffs. So teams are going to be trapping, double, even triple teaming him. And he's going to have to make the right play. He's going to have to kick it out to his shooters, and they're going to have to make shots. Kyle uh, Korver, uh, um, the point guard, uh, Blesso, he's going to have to make shots. He, he can't play like he did last year and expect to win a championship. So I'm rooting for Milwaukee, rooting for LA. It's going down NBA playoffs 2020. It's crazy. Never thought that it would go down like this. If you would ask me last year how the playoffs will be, never. I never would have said, you know, it'll be in front of no fans. So that's gonna um, come into the equation as well, playing with no fans. You're gonna have to get that energy. And uh, it's gonna be up to the players, man. It's gonna be up to the coaches, you know, so. Overall, no excuses. Whoever whoever wins the chip, no excuses. You can't put an asterisk. I hope I pronounced that right. By, by the uh, title, uh, by, by the champions, just because of COVID. You know, everybody playing through the same circumstances. So, there's no excuses. 
LeBron, let's get it. Let's get it done, baby. Let's get ring number four. Laker Nation, we out, baby. Peace.